Welcome back. A Modesto mom and cancer survivor has been given just a few days to leave the U.S., a place she's called home for nearly three decades. Lawyers for 52-year-old Martha Lozano have been working with immigration officials to keep the family together. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is in Modesto tonight with their story. Martha Lozano has no criminal record and says her family is being broken apart again. On the same day, Jonathan Lozano's 52-year-old mother, Martha, was on her way to the hospital for surgery. His father was being pulled over, handcuffed by immigration and customs enforcement agents, and forced to leave the country. It's not a good feeling. I mean, I wouldn't wish it upon anybody. Um, I mean, we were just kids, so it was scary. Almost 10 years later, the Lozano family's facing the same problem. This time, immigration officials have given mom until Thursday to leave the U.S. We don't really see the, the reason why. Uh, it's just uh, it's just like your time is up and that's it. it. They don't really give any explanation of why or how come they don't want to extend her period of time here anymore. Martha Lozano, who has battled two forms of cancer, has lived in Modesto for the last 30 years. She's a mother of three and recently became a grandmother. Lozano has never had a criminal record, not even a parking ticket. Tengo miedo. She says, I'm scared that I have to leave and that my children will have to stay here alone without any of their parents to care for them. Lozano's children are all U.S. citizens. She's been requesting a stay of deportation for the last nine years, but this year ICE denied her request. It's a decision lawyers believe came from the new administration. It's heartbreaking. Um, it's unfair and it's, it's very sad. Attorney Camille Cook has represented Lozano since 2009. In Mexico, Lozano says she won't have the same access to medicine or proper care and fears her cancer may return. Uno trata de estar, uh, con calma. She says you try and stay calm in a situation like this and have faith and pray for a miracle, but we are now in the mercy of the government. We reached out to ICE. A spokesperson says the department has been conducting enforcement operations consistent with federal law. Since Sunday, more than 150 people have been arrested in Northern California for violating federal immigration laws. Senator Dianne Feinstein's office has reached out to the family to offer assistance. Carlos, thank you.